Now, did I, I read somewhere, now uh, you'll be able to tell me this, but there was there someone on set called the Queen Archivist or someone like that who was literally going through your look and then people would ask like, what socks would have Freddie have worn or how would have he smoked this cigarette in this scene? And then they would advise you on, on how to channel the char- his character and his mannerisms in that moment? Yeah, we did. For, for most of the film, we had uh, Freddie's longtime assistant with us yep. who uh, obviously knew him inside and out. His name's Peter Freestone. Yeah. And uh, he had advice for everybody. So everyone was always picking his brain. Yeah. And there was nothing about Freddie uh, that... He he couldn't uh, at least have some type of answer for. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So we got the cigarettes right. We'd always ask, "What did he, What did he drink?" Everything, and uh, it all matched up. I've heard Freddie in uh, radio interviews where he's asking for a cup of tea or he's asking for a oh, vo- wow. vodka tonic. So it uh, it would all corroborate. Oh, that's great because there is a, there is a, this a, a scene in the movie where where you're, where Freddie is pitching Bohemian Rhapsody in a radio interview, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> on forever six bloody minutes I pity your wife if you think six minutes is forever and that is exactly out. how that happened though isn't that is wild? that is that not crazy yeah. like that these you you watch you would have read the script and seen it and gone this is actually like this is not fiction this is actually real life and this is is how this all played out right no! 